Today I'm going to go over the pen tool, the basics of uh, that useful tool, as well as the selection tool and the direct selection tool in Adobe InDesign. Go ahead and open up a new file, so just go to File, New, Document, and the default settings are fine for this tutorial, so go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go over the pen tool, the basics of uh, how this works. It's pretty similar to how the pen tool works in Illustrator. So if you click and hold on the pen tool over here on the toolbar. If you don't see this, just go to Window and then make sure Tools is checked. Uh, if you select just the pen tool or just press P on the keyboard, it'll select it. And how this works is if you just click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, it will create straight lines. All right, And then that's an object that we can move around and otherwise edit with uh, one of the selection tools. Alright, I'm going to delete that. You can also click and then click and drag. So on your second click, the second point, just click and drag up or down, left or right, and you can see how that affects the curve of the line. How this works is uh, these are just anchor points. These are points and then paths in between. And then you can also adjust the angle of those paths all right. So if I click and drag again, it will continue on that arc, that wave there. All right, and so on. So I'm gonna hit backspace and delete that. Now, what if you want to reset the angle? Well, how to do that is you can. Uh, I'm gonna actually make this point a little bit larger for this. If you click and then click and drag, and see how it just kind of arcs here. And if I just click right here like normal, it's going to follow along that trajectory like normal. All right, so see how it automatically goes like that. So if you wanted to kind of reset it, you can't really do that by just clicking, right? What you can do is click again. So say you're drawing out something, and I want to make a wave. So what you could do is click, click and drag, click and drag and here we want to reset it so what you can do is just click right on that uh, anchor point again that'll reset the angle and then you can actually bring it back the other way or you can continue it like normal like it would uh, have gone anyway or you can bring it back like that and then you can make a wave All right, and you could close it out if you wanted and you can click this little double sided arrow and that'll flip them and double click the fill and you could change the color as well. All right. Now, once you've created something with the pen tool, so say you just created some kind of shape over here, you can still add anchor points along the path. So this add anchor point right here, if I click in between these two right here, that will add another anchor point. And I can use the direct selection tool right here, the white one, and click off here and click right on that anchor point and you can move it around like so. You can also adjust the angle at which it curves. All right. Let's say you want to get rid of an anchor point. Well, click and hold onto the pen tool again. Instead of add anchor, let's do delete anchor. And that's where you can delete an anchor and gets rid of one of those and it just basically connects the anchors on either side of it. And okay, delete anchor point. And you can actually use the white arrow and still edit them if you wanted to. And you can also moving them around with the selection tool, the black arrow, as well. All right. So the direct selection tool, the white arrow, is more about selecting a path in between anchors, like so, or selecting the exact anchor points and moving them around. So you can move the one on the end here, as well. All right, and you can also delete them like I did right there, too. Just click right on the anchor point. And you can do Control or Command Z and undo that too. All right. One more thing to consider, if I just go to File Place and place in a photo here, okay. 
And uh, what you can do, if you have the edge of a photo here, and uh, I'm just going to crop out a little bit of it. I'm going to show you basically how to add anchor points on the edge of a photo in case you wanted to selectively crop out certain parts of it. Uh, so let's see, we have kind of a high resolution photo here and let's say it's on our page and by default it has the bounding boxes right here, just the corner. If I click and drag the corner, of course it crops it out. If I hold control or command and click and drag the edge, then it'll actually resize it. Um, so if I hold control, click and drag it, and hold shift to maintain that proportion, or command on the Mac plus shift to maintain the proportion. All right. And then uh, by default, of course, we have the, the points here and the paths in between. But, and if you wanted to move one of those, you can just select, instead of the selection arrow, the black arrow, just moving things around and resizing them, you can select the white arrow, just click off the edge here, click right on the corner and then I can actually crop it at a certain angle like so and you can add anchor points just like as if it was something drawn with the pen tool or one of the basic shapes so add anchor point and you can add them on the edges like so And then you can click right on one of the anchor points and drag it in like that. All right, so that's one more application of the direct selection tool, which is a little bit different from the selection tool that usually just you can edit the entire thing, resize it, transform it, or move it around. All right, thank you.